As we know in the conventional potato farming, farmers used to do seeds rotation and some still do to date. This increases the risk of disease infestation such as bacterial wilt to the crop as they are not clean. Professor Kibe highlights on some of the crops that farmers can use for rotation on the potato farm. So once you take them out to the field, uh, we advise the farmers, even the kefis are there who help us even in the training, uh, that you can only plant on that field once in four years. Because in case there is any infestation or infection, then uh, that you will not be able to, if, if that tuber is infested, uh, the soil automatically also becomes infected. So if you come and bring other clean seeds in the same soil, they also become infected. So ideally, you should not grow again on the same piece of land. You should actually bring in other crops. We have crops like canola, the brassica nepas, which is a very good crop for rotating grow, uh, potatoes with. In fact, it's known to kind of um, uh, provide some kind of biofumigation uh, characteristics where it reduces the number of the potato cyst nematodes. Black nightshade, it's a good uh, vegetable because it's of the same uh, genus. Avoid things like uh, capsicums, avoid things like tomatoes. You should not rotate them with potatoes because they'll still be hosts to some of these pathogens. We have sweet potatoes, we have pumpkins, we have the spider plant, we have the spinach, all these are good and friendly crops that you can rotate a seed potato with. Many farmers through the conventional production of seeds consume much time in production of tubers in their farm, then later preparing the land again for potato production. The, the multiplicative ratio of one tissue cultured epico rooted cutting is one as to 2,100 in one and a half years. But when you look at the other conventional method, is one as to 420. So the efficiency is very, very high. And this, the, the conventional method, it takes about four and a half years. So you see, we, we are saving on time, and uh, we are also saving on space, and we are also pay, saving on, on just the labor costs and uh, the, the amounts of land that you need to keep on growing and rotating this crop. In disseminating this critical information to potato farmers in Akuru County, Professor Kibe shares on the strategy they use to help farmers benefit from their research. Well, we've been uh, actually having a lot of field days. Like for instance, you've seen that's a group of farmers that have come. Um, we've been promoting it uh, in collaboration with the Nakuru County government. That has been an effective way of helping the farmers actually see that uh, they need to know the varietal uh, attributes of each variety. Furthermore, we have also, uh, using our students that have been doing a master's in agri-enterprise management and uh, community studies, uh, they also work with farmers. We, we also worked with them in, um, in some kind of processing semi-processing of these potato varieties. Aside from using hydroponic system to grow clean and healthy potato seedlings, they're also trying the aeroponic system. Aeroponic system is where plants are grown in the air, but miss the nutrients solution at the roots of the crop. It is an expensive system, but very effective in keeping away pests and diseases from attacking the crops. We actually come and plant them in these plug holes. So you can see they are distanced at about 20 centimeters and you put in uh, the apical rooted cuttings uh, inside there and you allow the roots to kind of hang down here. So what you see here is a misting. You mist the roots and those roots are, are able to get their nutrients from the water that has fertilizer. And so they grow and they produce the tubers in the air. When the time comes for harvesting at about three months, of course the plant grows just normally, as you see in, in, out in the field, and the roots would be hanging in the air, and then you harvest the tubers. 
As we wind up on rapid potato production under hydroponics farming, Professor Kibe shares a word of advice to potato farmers. Actually, the potato industry has largely been driven by the farmer, who are estimated to range between 600 and 800,000, producing on about uh, 160,000 hectares. The, the government has taken it as part of the Big Four agenda on food and nutrition security, that you can triple your production by growing high quality seed. At one of the farmers' demonstration plots at Egerton University, we visit a one vegetable farm segment under organic farming. This segment belongs to 66-year-old Joseph Kinyanjui. He looks very energetic and vibrant. <laughs> Sababu kutoka wakati ni, ni 1995 ukulima ambao unafaa uh, na ulio na mwerekeo niliaza kulima 1995 sasa kutoka wakati huo wakati nilipo endele, eh, kufuzu wa mambo ya ukulima mbora nilikuwa katika mahali kunaitwa Baraka College na wakati nilipo fudishwa hali ya ukulima na vile tunalimaga kule uh, mashabani kwetu nikaamua kulima ukulima ambao uh, unamwelekeo wa kibiashara kwa hivyo na tena nikafundishwa nika mambo ya ukulima ambao hauna uh, mandawa za za kisasa wakati nilipofundishwa hivyo nikaamua mimi mwenyewe nilime ukulima ambao hauna madhara kwa mwili ambao ni ile majani ambayo tunatumia kwa mimea yetu na, na kinyezi ya mifugo yetu. This demo farm is a replica of the type of farming he uses on his main farm in Mao Narok. The interesting thing is that he uses indigenous herbs and shrubs as a pest repellent on his crops. Kama huu mumea unahusika kwa jia zote bili. Unahusika upade ya pesticide na tena ni, ni, ni borea. Huu mumea unahua ata ata sijui hii hii wa, wa hii menyo goro hii zi, munaitaka hii wabazo zina zinakata mboga na mimea mingine kwa hivyo hii ni nzuri sana sababu unapoweka pamoja na 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 mimea inaua wale wadudu wako hapo kwa tena ile ile harufu ambayo inatoa ile uh, wa, wadudu wengine wakisikia ile harufu wanatoroka wana Kwa hivyo ile harufu inatoa dio inatusaidia sana kwa mimea yetu. Huu mumea nao ile harufu unatoa pia inawafanya wadudu kupotea. Kwa hivyo hauna madhara kwa miri ya watu. Na pia kama ukiwa mkulima na ujikata ukiwa shabani, pia huu mumea ukipiga piga na umwagie uh, hiyo maji mahali umejikata, ina hiyo damu inafuga mara moja. Joseph has been practicing organic farming for the past 14 years without using any inorganic fertilizers. He says he does not regret his decision as he has managed to eat and stay healthy and he is spreading the organic agriculture gospel. Wakati niliaza uh, kuchanganyisha hivi mwaka wa 95. Hapo diyo niliaza na nikaona unafaa. Hata nimekua uh, nikiwa, nikiwa, nikiwa fudisha wegini. Ni vizuri sana mimea ambayo tuko nayo karibu tui, tuwe tukijua ni gani nzuri iliyo sunguka sisi kwetu sisi na kwa mimea yetu. The organic farming journey has its own share of challenges. Joseph shares on some of these encounters. Nimepitia changamoto nyingi sababu huwezi kulima sehemu kubwa sababu kama organic ni kitu kinahitaji gharama kuu. Sababu tuseme kwa mfano, kwa ekari moja, uh, uh, kemekari ya bazo tunaweka wakatu kama fertilizer na uh, hivyo. Ina, inagarimu ki mfuko tuseme kama mfuko moja ama mbili. Lakini hii inashukua tani ishirini kwa ekari moja kupata boga kama hii ama mambo ya viazi. But this challenge did not kill his morale into expanding organic agriculture. Ni sababu niliona... Mimi mwenyewe 
Nime, nime puka na kila wakati kuwa hospitalini. Nime puka. Na tena wakati unapokula ile chakula ziko na utamu kuliko zile tena za kemikali. Kwa hivyo hapo ndio ikanisukua niwe na upendo wa kuwa na, na kilimo hicho. As we wind up, Joseph has some advice to farmers in regards to organic agriculture. Nige nige waomba wa kulima bezangu watumie njia za kisamani ama kitamaduni sababu samani tulikuwa tunaenda tu kwa shaba tunafika msitu na tuna tunachoma majani na na, na kupanda na hakuna mambo ya kupanda na kemikali hakuna kupiga madawa udogo wetu unakufa uwezo wa, kuz, wa kutoa mazao kwa hivyo nigeuliza wakulima wezangu waweze kugeuka We've come to the end of our Climate Smart Agriculture show. For more of these catchy and informative stories, keep it tuned to KTN Farmers TV.